Welcome to another Whiteboard Wednesday here at Discover Org. What I'm going to walk you through today is how to scale your inbound SDR team and make sure that they stay efficient and effective while you do so. Now, if you're anything like us, you probably have some pretty lofty revenue goals to hit. And that means that you're gonna need to make sure that you set good meetings and that those good meetings complete. Now, if you're also like us, you probably love inbound leads. Those hotter than hot leads, people requesting information. They're treated like gold. What I'm gonna walk you through today are a few things that we've tried internally here that work to show you exactly what you can do to make sure that your team stays efficient, stays effective, and scales quickly. So one of the first things that you can do to make sure that your team scales efficiently is to align sales and marketing. So when I first came aboard, yeah, we were buddies with marketing over in sales, but we didn't talk all that much. Maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks, when we really hunker down and work things out. Now, I speak to marketing almost every day. One of the things that you can do to make sure you guys are aligned is to make sure you understand what a hot lead is and what should not be coming through to your inbound SDR team. So one of the first things we did was we identified a few a few key indicators so we can understand what's probably not going to turn into a demo, what's not going to be a good fit, something that your team should not spend a lot of time on. So one of the first things you can do is start to exclude free email addresses. Those Gmails, the Yahoos, the Outlooks of the world. People using those emails, because they're not using their business email, they're probably not nearly as interested in your product as someone who's putting in their business email who's serious about moving forward. One of the other things that you can start backing out are students. Oftentimes we get a lot of requests from people looking specifically for free data for a project that they're working on at university. That's not going anywhere. Let's make sure that's taken out completely. The third one that you can make sure that you're excluding are those keyboard mashers. The people who maybe they fill out a real email because it's uh, they got lucky. Uh, let's back those out. If it's DGFS at whatever, back it out. Now, one of the other things that we've done to align sales and marketing is make sure that we have some 360 degree feedback, right? And so this is speaking with marketing on a daily basis so they understand what, our, what my team is seeing and, resp and replying in such. So for instance, on every single day, I'm having my SDR team rank our leads on a scale of one to five. One being this is the best lead I could have gotten to five being Wow, this is an intern in Antarctica. By doing that, marketing can have a better understanding of what's coming in on a daily basis and can make sure that they're adjusting their metrics and their messaging to make sure that my team is getting the best leads possible. Once you've worked with marketing to understand what a hot lead is and what should be passed over to your team, not only is that gonna help your team respond quicker to what's happening, but also it's gonna give those reps confidence. Now, when you're trying to scale your team, you wanna make sure that they have the confidence to perform effectively, efficiently. Making sure that what they're getting is the best of the best means that they're gonna be confident that when they're dialing that phone number, that when they're sending out an email, they're going to be going right to that person. This person is interested and damn it, they wanna take a meeting. The second thing that we've done to make sure our teams stay efficient while we scale them is give them clear goals from day one. So at Discover Org, what we've decided one of the top things an inbound SDR can do is have an extremely quick speed to lead time. InsideSales.com found that if you're able to reach out to someone within five minutes of them filling out a form on your website, there's about a 900% better chance that you're going to contact them. So what do we do at Discover Org? We try to make sure that people are being contacted within 90 seconds. During this time, my team is researching the prospect within our own system, maybe checking out their profile on LinkedIn, checking out the company website and getting a good idea of why they might be reaching out, what they do and how we can help them. Now, one of the things that we can do to ensure that 90 seconds is secret shop. And so once a month, twice a month, what I'll do is I'll get together typically with someone in marketing, we'll sit down, we'll fill out a form on the website 
and we'll see how long it takes my team to respond. You gotta keep them honest. Now, one of the other clear goals that we set from day one are dials. For my team, it's 60 dials per day. That's what they need to do day in, day out. Now, because they're dealing with hot leads, they're, they're gonna have a few more conversations than someone who's doing a straight cold call role. Our cold call team, our outbound team, they're focused on making sure that they hit 100 dials every single day. The third thing that we've done here at Discover Org that you can do to make sure that your teams scale efficiently, stay effective, is push for same day, next day demos. In fact, let's turn that into a hashtag. Hashtag same day, next day. One of the things that we do here that we've found by looking at our own internal data is that if someone's able to jump on a meeting that same day, they have a much better chance of showing up than somebody who decides to jump on a meeting three, four, or five days out. What we found is if we're able to get them on same day, there's about a 91% chance that they actually show up. It drops a little bit uh, if they're out the next day, but not by much. Now you can see here, two, three, four, five days out, it's a coin flip on whether someone's actually going to show up to your meeting or not, which is why we focus on same day, next day. One of the things you want to do when talking about same day, next day is avoid open-ended scheduling. Oftentimes, reps are inclined to say, do you have any time this week? Do you have any time, what works for your schedule later this month? What we try and do is we always ask for today. What's your schedule look like today? What's it look like this morning? What's it look like this afternoon? We're trying to give them specific points of reference so if they can't do something today, they're immediately thinking about the next day. If things are too open, it paralyzes the prospect. They're not sure what their calendar might actually look like and they're just grasping at straws, hoping to find a time that works. By forcing them to think about today, if they can't do something right then and there, they're then thinking about tomorrow which means you're gonna have a much, much better chance of actually having someone show up to your meeting. All right, to bring it all back around, one of the things that you can do, well, the three things you can do to make sure that your teams stay efficient as you scale them up, align sales and marketing. Make sure that you're all in complete understanding of what a hot lead is, what a good fit is, and make sure that you're giving that 360 feedback to marketing so they understand on a daily basis what's coming in. Make sure that your team has clear goals from day one. Make sure they know how many dials they need to be making and how quick they need to be responding to those inbound leads. We aim for 90 seconds. You do what works for you. The last thing, make sure that they're booking meetings same day or next day. Hashtag same day, next day. The earlier that they can get on that meeting, the better, that they're, the better chance they're actually going to show up. By doing all of these, we've actually taken our conversion rate from somewhere around 25% to over 40% now. It's a huge increase. And as such, it's made sure that we're able to hit our revenue goals, our extremely aggressive revenue goals that our leadership gives us. Well, I hope you learned something here. Hopefully this can help. Thanks for watching another Whiteboard Wednesday and stay tuned for another one to come up here soon. Uh, if you have any other questions, any comments, uh, make sure you subscribe like, and actually comment on this video. Reach out to me if you have any questions. Thanks.